you very much. Nice to see you, Elm. Welcome to Legends. The rooms are filled with lost treasures that are protected with mysterious Maya and Temple guards. Only Elm knows the legend behind each of the treasures. Which one are we going to hear about today? The Sword of Mulan. Ed, the legend of the Sword of Mulan. One of these six teams will have a chance to retrieve the sword. Will it be the Red Jackets? The Blue Barracudas? The Green Monkeys? The Orange Iguanas? The Purple Parrots? Or the Silver Snakes? They are going to have to pass physical and mental activities. And in the end, only one team will have the right to enter Old Max Temple. First, they must cross the moat. Elm will tell us how they have to do it today. Before you rise an ancient fallen timber, one guard gives the signal. One player from each team will hold the lot while their partner crosses to the other side. Once the first player is safely across, they'll hold the lot so their partner can cross. As soon as the second team player crosses the moat, run over and hit the ball. The first four teams to hit their bongs will be going on the steps of knowledge. Okay teams, are you ready? Yeah. 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 Are you ready, Elm? Let's rock. On your mark. Get set. Go. They need to keep their balance as they go. The purple parents are doing a good job. Hello. The silver snakes fell in. Now the blue barracudas fell in. The blue barracudas and the silver snakes are still struggling. The green monkeys and red jackals made it across. Oh no! The blue barracudas fell in again. Iguanas, parrots and snakes made it across. Jaggles and parrots fell in. We are about to get our first team. It's gonna be close. Green monkeys rang in first. Orange iguanas rang in second. We need two more teams. It looks like the purple parrots are having trouble. We still need one more team. Will it be the blue barracudas, purple parrots? Nice job by the purple parrots. We have our four teams. The red jackals, the green monkeys, the orange iguanas, and the purple parrots. They are all going on to the next round. The blue barracudas and the silver snakes had a great effort. We have a great gift for them. Hell is what it is. SpongeBob SquarePants Season 2, a DVD featuring episodes like Artist Unknown, Bossy Boots, Wormy, Procrastination, and I'm Your Biggest Fanatic, on DVD. As the quest continues, it's time for Elm to tell us about the Sword of Milan. Pay attention because your knowledge can bring you one step closer to Elm's temple. Mulan is a legendary figure from ancient China who was originally described in a Chinese poem known as the Ballad of Mulan. In the poem, Mulan Mulan takes her aged father's place in the army. She fought for 12 years and came to Hungary, but she refused any reward and retired to her hometown instead. The historical setting of Yuan Mulan is uncertain. Shu Wei's play version from the 16th century places her in the Northern Wei Dynasty. Whereas the late romance Sui Tangani has her active around the founding of the Tang, California 620. The novel is consistent insofar as it describes Yuan's father stemming from the people of the Northern Wei. Your quest is to retrieve the sword of Yuan and bring it back here. Where is the sword? It can be found in the Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Teams, you are now standing on the steps of knowledge. In a minute, Elm will ask you our question. If you think you know the answer, stomp down on the ancient marking in front fear. If you're right, you move down to the next level. If you're wrong or run out of time, we'll give the other teams a chance to answer. The first two teams to make it to the bottom level will be one step closer to Elm's temple. Elm, we are ready for your first question. According to legend, did Mulan describe the Chinese poem known as 300 Tanks, Ballad of Mulan? Red Jackals. Ballad of Mulan. That is correct. Red Jackals moved down. Next question. How many years did Mulan fight for? 12, 8, or 4? Red Jackals. 12. That is correct. Oh. The Red Jackals are just one step away from going to the Temple Games. Next question, Elm. Which century came before the Tang Dynasty 5th century, 8th century? 
Center, 7th Century, Purple Parrot, 5th Century, Incorrect, Green Monkeys, 7th Century, That is correct. Nice job Green Monkeys. Move down a step. Next question on. How many tablets does the ballad of Mulan have? 31, 27. Orange Iguanas. 31. You are correct. Nice job Orange Iguanas. Move down a step. The purple parrots have a chance to catch up. Next question. Shui's play version from the 16th century places her in the Sui Dynasty, Northern Wei Dynasty, or the Kingdom of Dali. Red Jackets. Northern Wei Dynasty. That is correct. We have our first team going on to the Temple Games, the Red Jackets. Next question. The Huan Mulan is the crater on Jupiter, Neptune, or Venus. Green Monkeys. Neptune. That is incorrect. Orange Iguanas. Venus. Correct. Oh, nice job Orange Iguanas. One more correct response as you're going to the Temple Games. Next question, Elm. According to History of the Moon, what is her family name? Zhu, Zhu Wei, or Zhu Yinhe? Purple Parrots. Zhu. That is correct. Okay, Purple Parrots, step down. Next question, Elm. Until which dynasty was there no treatment? Orange Iguanas. Ming Dynasty. That's correct. We have our two teams. Which are the Red Jaggers? And the Orange Iguanas. Come down Green Monkeys and Purple Parrots. The Green Monkeys and Purple Parrots did a good job. They're not going away empty handed. We have a great gift for them and here's what it is. Pixos, the magical toy. Put them on the tray, spray them with water, and then it stays from the maker of Aquadots. These two teams will be playing for the right to retrieve the Sword of Mulan, and I'll do it right after this.